We will discuss Nipah virus, why it has become so important lately and why it is under focus. We will also talk about how to prevent and protect against it. First, we should mention that Nipah virus is a zoonotic infection, which means it spreads from animals to humans, primarily from bats and pigs. It is a highly significant infection because it has a very high fatality rate, almost 70%. This means 70 out of 100 infected individuals will die. For comparison, the COVID-19 fatality rate is less than 1%. The primary source of Nipah virus is fruit bats. If a person comes into contact with their fluids such as saliva, urine or feces, the virus can be transmitted. Consuming contaminated fruits with infected bat excretions can also be a source of infection highlighting the importance of washing fruits before consumption. Sometimes infection occurs from pigs if a person has close contact with them. For example, farmers. Human-to-human -human transmission is also possible, but usually happens in hospitals where there is close contact between patients and healthcare workers. Transmission in this case can occur via contact with body fluids and even respiratory droplets. Symptoms of Nipah virus include high fever, which is usually an early symptom. Another important sign is persistent and severe headache. Muscle pain and sore throat are also common early symptoms. As the disease progresses, respiratory symptoms occur, such as cough, difficulty breathing, and severe respiratory distress. The primary cause of death in Nipah virus infection is encephalitis, which is an inflammation of the brain. This can lead to brain swelling increased intracranial pressure and damage to critical brain functions. Additionally, in advanced stages, the virus spreads to various parts of the body, leading to multi-organ failure, which is also a cause of death. Currently, there is no treatment for Nipah virus and no vaccine available at this stage. For respiratory distress, intensive care units and mechanical ventilation are used. Patients who develop severe encephalitis have a higher risk of death. Neurological symptoms like seizures, altered consciousness, and coma indicate a more severe course of the disease. At this stage, human-to-human -human transmission is not common, especially in casual everyday contact. However, we are unable to predict if human-to-human -human transmission will become easier in the future. Recent outbreaks have shown that human-to-human -human transmission can occur but usually requires prolonged and close contact. For example, in the 2001 outbreak, 75% of the infected people were hospital workers who had close contact with infected patients. In contrast, in 2024, two young people have already died from Nipah virus, but their contacts were not infected, highlighting that human-to-human -human transmission is not very common. At this stage, the outbreak is occurring in India. However, fruit bats, specifically the Petropus species, are not limited to India. They are found across South and Southeast Asia, including countries like Bangladesh, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia and the Philippines, as well as in Australia and parts of the Pacific and Africa. Therefore, while they are a primary source of the Nipah virus in India, they are present in a broader geographic range. Prevention strategies include avoiding contact with infected animals, proper handling of raw fruits to avoid contamination, and strict infection control practices in healthcare settings.